Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Christina and here on the channel we talk about life in Ukraine, uh, life in my hometown of Kyiv. Also we talk about uh, Ukrainian cities uh, before and uh, during the war. In this video I will tell you about my last days uh, and uh, answer your questions. I filmed uh, this video for several days uh, so that you could feel my normal life as much as possible. Uh, but uh, before we start, I want to say thank you for everyone who support my channel and uh, me. Both uh, here on YouTube in the comments um, uh, and by sharing my video on your social networks and to those who uh, support me by making donations. Thank you, I really appreciate it and I will leave uh, links uh, for donation below the video. Of course this is optional, but thank you. By the way, you often ask me in the comments uh, why my videos um, have uh, so few uh, views um, because they are great. Of course, I agree with you that uh, they are great, but unfortunately it's uh, really very difficult to promote channel about Ukraine now because there is a lot of uh, competition because of the big uh, channels uh, and um, YouTube uh, algorithm work in such a way that small channel among others are not promoted as much as the topic uh, is very popular. You know, I'm not going to buy ads uh, to promote my channel uh, because um, it's definitely not something I'm going to spend money on right now. Based on your advice, I uh, started making more shorts. So if you haven't watched them, go to the shorts section. There will be more videos uh, there. So how a few of my days spent this week. First day and no light in the morning. The first thing I go to feed Bonik, of course, and uh, get ready. Actually, the tree has to be put away at the end of February. Uh, then I wanted to wash my hair, then I remembered that there is no light and looked at the shadow that it will not be turned on now, but will be turned on when I come home. So I just cleared out and yes, I usually look at the schedule for tomorrow before going to bed to plan something, but yesterday I was so tired that I forgot. I make uh, preparations for food, uh, uh, marinate uh, meat and put buckwheat to boil. I will come home in two hours just to prepare the meat. Then I make coffee from the thermos, always refill the thermos to have hot water. Of course Bonnik helps and it's already getting a liar outside the window. I got ready in the dark and my husband actually too just get up a little later than me and I sit waiting for him in our family, I always wait. And uh, actually in your family who is waiting for whom? We go to the office to record a video for my project and uh, for my several YouTube channels. Uh, by the way, the lifts uh, uh, don't work, so first we go downstairs, then in the office we go upstairs on foot. In general, we have a lot of sports now. At the office I broke my lamp, first the ring and then I dropped it uh, accidentally. Then I went back home, the office is not far, the light is on. Then I'm learning new English words. Actually, I try to learn new words every day. It's Bonik and he is resting as usual.
I'm going to the salon for hair treatment. After I walked uh, Krushatik Street, it's a Central Street on Kiev, and stopped in a bookstore. By the way, Serena was only once today for half an hour. After I driving her home, peeling a pomegranate and already my husband came home. Second day. I wake up and realize that there is light when the lights are on outside the window. I turn everything on to charge, make breakfast. Next, I get ready to do a vacuum in the morning and decide to measure my waist, um, 63 centimeters. After I read a book in the morning too, usually, and go to a meeting, after came for a manicure. Manicure is already near the house and in the evening I do the usual things, uh, today there was no air alert. I cut uh, the flowers, my husband is working at the office so he usually comes later. Actually I finished with flowers and uh, just my husband came home. Feeding Bonik, uh, he reacted to the word uh, kushat. Kushat is to eat. And then stretching. I don't have time to go to the gym now, so I do only stretching three times a week at home. Next day, there is light again, I cook food, make coffee, pour thermos. In general, I don't cook that often, if anything. It's uh, just a coincidence. Mm, actually, today is our day off from everything, and we are going to uh, go to grocery store. Lots of people in the morning, uh, maybe everyone is talking up because this week is the uh, anniversary of the full-scale invasion and everyone is expecting massive shelling. Then I recorded a video in the parking lot, next we go to the car wash and gas station. We decided to go home and change, uh, we wanted to go for a walk outside and we got to dress it lightly. We came to the Dnieper and here's the amazing sunset. Here somehow the snow is still lying, although we have plus temperature.
it got dark while we went for a walk and we went home. As always, when I come home, I cuddle with Bonnik. And he sits like this for 5 minutes and then goes on his way. The next day I worked on approving the mobile version of my site and Bonik has no idea yet that we have guests coming over today. We were left with a puppy for one day. He drove me crazy. Hyperactive, more active than Bonik, although he is also very active when playing. The puppy turned the house upside down. Bonik was in shock. Bonnie constantly hiding and watching from a distance. The puppy, meanwhile, began to steal my toys. Then shoot Bonnie boxes, then uh, fell asleep and Bonnie went out and I was able to work for a while. Then, when I decided to eat, they decided to get to know each other. The two of them got scared and started yelling at each other. Bonnie. Then the pupil went back to sleep and I mounted some shorts. Then I checked the site and made edits. I work uh, remotely now or when I don't work at home, I go to my husband's office. They have a co-working uh, room, co-working office. Generally, the productivity of the day was low, but I managed to get some work done. And in the evening we watched a movie after the pupil was picked up. So that was it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. By the way, in the next video I will show you prices on products in Ukraine now and we will go uh, to grocery shop together. Actually, prices uh, in Ukraine uh, on everything have uh, gone up in the last uh, three months and it's really crazy so see you soon bye